Hi, and welcome to episode 15 of A Poem a Day. Today we will be reading El Dorado by Edgar Allan Poe. This one's a super fun read. Uh, it's very short, but it's really enjoyable, at least for me it was. Um, and for those who may not know the legend of El Dorado, it is a fabled city made of gold. And, you know, adventurers, travelers would hear of this fable and go in search of this, you know, lost city of gold, uh, you know, for fame and fortune. And you may not know this, but there's a movie called The Road to El Dorado. It's an animated film. Highly recommend watching it. Uh, cannot recommend that movie enough if you have not seen it. Uh, search it up, watch it, have a good laugh, and just be more complete, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, towards the end of the poem, he uh, has this line where he says, Over the mountains of the moon, down the valley of the shadow, ride, boldly ride, the shade replied, if you seek El Dorado. So he's mentioning these legendary mountains, which are thought to be the African Ruanzori Mountains. And he does this because he thinks that this is an unattainable uh, distance that humans cannot do. But as you all know, we humans always find a way to do the impossible. So, this is El Dorado by Edgar Allan Poe. Hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> Gaily bedight, a gallant knight, in sunshine and in shadow, had journeyed long, singing a song in search of El Dorado. But he grew old, this knight so bold, and over his heart a shadow fell, as he found no spot of ground that looked like El Dorado. And as his strength failed him at length, he met a pilgrim, Shadow. Shadow, said he, where can it be, this land of El Dorado? Over the mountains of the moon, down the valley of the shadow. Ride boldly, ride, the shade replied, if you seek for El Dorado. Thank you. <laughs>